Back to the gem state now. The Wild West was home to some notorious outlaws in the 1800s. One of those outlaws left his mark on Idaho. That outlaw was Butch Cassidy, and the town was Montpelier. This weekend, a celebration was held to remember Cassidy and the history he brings to the town. Eyewitness News reporter Missy Inglet has more. Butch Cassidy is a Wild West legend. His well planned bank and train robberies made him one of the most infamous outlaws in history. And a piece of his story belongs to Montpelier. In 1896, the Bank of Montpelier would become Cassidy's second heist. It was August 13th. Three men rode into town. After a few casual drinks, the men walked over to the bank. They shoved the banker inside at gunpoint, grabbed the money, and calmly rode back out of town. Cassidy successfully stole $7,142. Now, on the 120th anniversary of the robbery, that same bank has been turned into a Butch Cassidy Museum. And it's all because of one man who commutes from Salt Lake every weekend to keep the history alive. I was born in Europe, you know, we have a lot of history in Europe, and I see this old decapitated building, abandoned building, and I saw so much history in this building. And uh, I just basically decide to save the history. It's a wonderful, you know, a piece of history which uh, I wouldn't like to see faded away. The museum opened last year for the summer. In just four months that it was open, it had 3,000 visitors. The Bank of Montpelier is the original building. These floors are the exact floors that Butch Cassidy would have walked on 120 years ago. This is the only one of the original banks Cassidy robbed that is still standing. Those who came out for Butch Cassidy days say they were impressed by the museum, and they're glad to see history remain. I think it's really neat. I think that anything that you can keep historical in a town like this, when it has some significance, I think it's amazing. It looks awesome to be able to walk in and follow the history on the wall there, and then see the spur marks on the floor too. Yeah, it looks, they've done a fabulous job. I think it's a good experience. It, it draws people to Montpelier, not just the Bear Lake area, and so it's a lot of fun. And it brings us all together. I was really impressed as a local to see some of these uh, pieces of history being on display here in town. That's nice. Raddick says it's been a lot of work, but he thinks it will grow into something amazing. And he's just glad he could restore a legend. Some people like to restore the old cars, you know, and my calling was probably restore the old bank. <laughs> in Montpelier, I'm Misty Inglet. Very cool story there. Now, the museum has a Hollywood star commemorating the history. It will be put into the sidewalk at the museum sometime next year. And if you're interested in learning more about the robbery and Bush Cassidy, we've included more details on our website, kadk.com.